Good morning, Captain Australia here. How you doing? Um, okay, I think this is a great opportunity to test these Whizbang new earbuds. They have both uh, an ambient sound mode, which can pick up conversations, and a sound ambient sound blocking mode, which blocks out background traffic. So, right now, I don't know if you can see very well behind me. We are above a big old busy old road. There's plenty of heavy trucks and stuff going on over the over under. Oh god boy, Captain Australia. The trucks are driving underneath us and the, the noise is quite significant. Uh, but I'm hoping when I get home and listen to this that we're all good. So where am I going today? Uh, Jindalee and Mount Omni. So uh, there's a boating, camping, fishing store there. I want to buy a solar blanket so I can be confident that when I'm doing my big walk, 26 December 2021, I will be completely independent power supply wise, I'll be able to stay in touch with the family and collect streams for you of all the beautiful places that I'm going to see in my great adventure. So what am I doing and why? Well, uh, I'm dressing up as the buffet superhero Captain Australia and why is, well it's a little complex actually, the fundamental and currently most important reason is to help a charity called the Kids Cancer Project. So. Uh, every year there's 950 Aussie children diagnosed with cancer, 950, and 20% of them don't survive treatment. So there's three every week, every single week, three Aussie kids who die. So it's one every second day, paediatric cancer, one every second day, okay? Um, of the ones that do survive, they face the same kind of chronic health issues that I did. So, um, I mean, I. You probably can't tell, because I'm so, I'm happy, I'm delighted to be alive. I'm becoming stronger and stronger and stronger every day. But when I do these practice walks, I'm in daily pain. <laughs> I just don't, I don't really show it. So um, the, the, thing, the thing is, all of these side effects that you, they're inflicted either by the cancer, or, which uh, largely psychologically as much as physical, or by the treatments, the chemo radiation, surgery recovery, all of that stuff, they can be profound chronic problems and no child should have to face up to that. I survived cancer but a kid shouldn't have to. So the Kids Cancer Project is all about the science behind, sorry about that, the science behind resolving paediatric cancer in our lifetimes. So it's about existing treatments, softening, improving the efficacy, all of that. And. Um, Every donation, $50, every $50 go, creates one hour, uh, approximately, of research. So it's all about attacking the problem head on and trying to resolve it at its core. Uh, and yeah, that's my biggest motivation at this point. At the start, it was just about my own personal healing. So I left home young, 15 years. Uh, it was to escape a bad domestic situation. And when I did, I walked from Brisbane to Sydney. And it was a time of healing, rebirth. Uh, hope. So I, f I felt as a young young boy like I was doomed to this cycle of, of sadness and suffering and it wasn't really self-induced. There, there was a home situation where there were drugs and crime and violence so I had to get out and when I did it was like leaving the hospital room where you thought you were doomed to die. I got out and it was an adventure and I needed to recover that. So that's what the big walk came from that idea of reaching back into your past to empower your future. And for me, that is literally walking. Uh, so for you, that might be going to therapy or something, but it's a metaphor for hope, for finding it, grabbing it, it no matter how dark it is. And for me, it was the darkest, yeah? But it's about finding that hope that's available, breathing life into it and sharing it with others. And I can tell you firsthand, that sharing amplifies it. It grows in the sharing and comes back to you stronger than before. So it's like the old saying, which I love and I say all the time, kindness is the antidote to suffering. Yeah, it is. And that's the, that's the other reason why I'm doing this. It, it is that process of sharing. So the first, it's about the kids. The second, it's about me. The third is about you or someone you know. Uh, it doesn't have to be affected by cancer there will be somebody you know who suffers. It seems like we're going through an epidemic of suffering. You know, not, not the COVID pandemic, although that will play a role. An epidemic of, of depression, anxiety, 
Suicide rates are up. Raids. Can you actually talk me? I'm not making fun, by the way, when I do that, of, of people with disabilities. My son has a disability. I'm just a funny old fool, okay? Please don't be offended. If I go to do, that's me saying how, how stupid I am, you know? Um, so, you know, I, I can't talk <laughs> proper. Radiation and chemotherapy induced cognitive decline. I, I may very well, I, plus I don't sleep anymore. I get like maybe two, three hours at a time. Um, I'm hoping the big walk will cure that. So by exhausting myself every day, when I go to sleep at night, I may very well sleep better. But we'll see how that all goes. Anyway, um, yeah, that, so that third reason is to combat that darkness out there in the world, you know? I win, lose, or draw. I think we all should try and do something. You might be a beautiful poet. Write more poetry. Share it. Don't be shy. Put it out there in the world, you know? Uh, you might be a painter. Make a beautiful painting or a challenging one. Show demons and suffering in your art. Whatever, whatever your art needs to say, say it and share it. And I, I think it's that doing whatever you can, however it looks for you, that matters. So me, I get it. I'm not as good for old weirdo. Uh, but you know, I'm half brain, brain dead from chemo. And I just... For me, I get it, it's weird, but this is my way of trying to make things better for me, you, we, and for the kids. The, the Kids Cancer Project is a wonderful, important charity. So you'll see sticky links and all of that stuff. If you're watching it on YouTube, yeah, it'll be in the description, a link to the charity page. If you're watching it on Facebook, it'll be in the sticky post, links to the charity page. So go on, yeah, you got a few bucks, haven't you? And if you don't, actually, don't feel guilty. I don't want you to feel guilty. I don't, don't you hate those charity hecklers? You know, they're in the city and you'll walk out of, from work or something and they just swoop in on you. Oh, yeah, you know, you blah, 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 blah. And they get to, they'll invest a bit of time in banter. My banter is free. I want, let's banter, you know? You don't need to donate. But there are other things that you can do to help if you can't or don't want to donate, but you're up for a giggle. So here's, okay, here's my challenge. If you can do this, bless you, okay? It would be wonderful. I know it's iffy, I know it's weird, but superhero up for science, okay? Now, <laughs> your mission is think up. There's a video, search up, search up um, superhero up for science on my YouTube channel and you'll find it. But you, you know, think up a uh, superhero character. It can be an existing one. You're allowed to, you know, put on one of those costumes for Iron Man or whatever, or you can create your own. So I had an example, old age mutant Winger Barry. I'm old age mutant Winger Barry. So he, I had a costume, a uh, Leonardo type headband, and you need a catchphrase. And the catchphrase for Barry is, the buses were cheaper when I was a lad. So you think of that, you create that in your mind, then you get a camera, a phone, whatever, and you record a video. G'day, I'm old age mutant Winger Barry. The buses were cheaper when I was a lad. My superpower is judo chop or whatever. You might have, you might be good with hula hoop or you might be able to do a flip on a trampoline. Whatever, whatever it is, you know, you can display that, you know, have fun, have a giggle with it. But at the end you say, and I support Captain Australia's big walk. Visit the donation page in the link below. And on your video, you chuck that link to the charity page. So it's a Raisley page. It's like uh, Captain Austra Captain hyphen Australia's Big Walk I think something like that. But it's in the post. You'll recognise it, see it. Chuck that in your in the link of your video. If you can find it in your heart to do that, oh God, send me a message on Facebook. I'd love to see some of these start getting around. If you could, you know that that would be a tremendous help. You're basically advertising the charity for us. And there's a lot of cynical garbage, you know. These days people will try and say to you, ah, oh, you know, oh, isn't this cool? Let's dunk ice over our heads or do planking or whatever. And they're just, they're just trying to, to get your attention and get you to do something and make them money and all that. I, 
I'm straight up asking, if you can, if you can find it in your heart, make a funny video, advertise the big walk for us, because the goal is to raise a quarter of a million dollars for this very worthy charity, and I would love to see that goal come to fruition. So, you know, at the end of it all, when I finish my big walk, I'll, uh, you know, toddle off into the sunrise and hopefully live happily ever after. But the kids that are affected by paediatric cancer may not get that opportunity. So I have every hope for healing now. I'm, I'm in fact, I'm just, I'm getting stronger every day. And the big walk is a pilgrimage. I might come out of that exponentially better. Caterpillar, butterfly. But these kids, they don't, I'm an old man. I've got a bit of life experience, you know? I'm not scared, not really. I'm scared of failing the charity, you know? I'm not scared of looking a fool. I'm not scared of effort, of work. I'm just scared of letting people down. But these kids, they don't have any of those tools. They're just kids. Average age is six. It blows my mind. Um, and you know, the families, the parents, I, I can't imagine how deep you have to dig to get through something like that. Anyway, that's my spiel delivered with, with as much clarity and vigor as I can. And if I don't stop now, I'll just keep on going on. So um, thank you so much for your time and attention. All of the best. Now, when I was in the Gold Coast, in parting word, when I was down the Gold Coast, I, I went down with the goal to get caught in a storm. I didn't till the very end. I was walking through a hot sweltering day and it was great and I had a good time. Um, but at the end, I, I had watched this comedy special and I owe this to funny man, Jimmy Carr. But I, I, I don't know why it makes me giggle and I hope it makes you giggle. So I thought I'd share a parting thing with you in case you didn't see it at the end of the Gold Coast Walk. So, this is me, Tough Superhero. You ready? And this is uh, courtesy of Jimmy Carr. Thank you. Jimmy Carr, that's his name, isn't it? Stand-up comic. I'm pretty sure his name's Jimmy Carr. <laughs> I've saw him live once. Funny guy. Um, okay, you ready? This is Captain Australia. And when I see trouble, I let my fists do the talking. Please don't hurt me, mister. Now that's me. That, I don't know why I find that so funny. All right, uh, fairly well. Have a good day. Bye-bye.